This is my small cornfield and some corns are there. Today I'm going to pluck a few corns and make a recipe out of this. I got three corns which is enough for my recipe. So fresh, straight from the garden. So now we'll boil this corn and potato together. It's your wish. You can boil the corn separately and the potato separately. But I'm not going to waste some gas so I'm going to boil together. I have taken four potatoes and two corn. So let's we'll put some salt and whistle it. Our corns are cooked and it's not overcooked also so it's just a way I want it. Now We'll take it out and I'll be putting this in a recipe. So the corn and the potatoes which you have uh, boiled it earlier. Now what I'm going to cook is a potato corn fry. So let's start with the ingredients. I have taken four boiled potatoes which I have mashed it nicely and one cup of corn this is straight away from my vegetable garden then I have taken half tablespoon of jeera powder cumin powder then half tablespoon of coriander powder dhania powder and half tablespoon of chili then one tablespoon of I have rice flour this is also homemade and I have taken two tablespoon of basin uh, I have uh, roasted this basin so that the uh, flavor, the raw flavor doesn't come. And I have taken one small onion which is finely chopped. Then I have ginger which is also finely chopped and chilies how much you like. And lastly our cheese. Uh, it's, it's optional whether you want to use cheese or not. So let's get started. First I'll take the mashed potatoes and chill. put the corn then we'll put the cheese if you don't like putting cheese it's okay then our ginger onion and chili Then here goes our masalas, coriander powder, chili powder and cumin powder. Then goes our basin. And lastly, our rice flour. Now we mix it nicely. And yes, of course, salt to taste. How much salt? you like. Now mix it nicely. And I put salt also how much you like to taste. Now with the help of my hands which is washed I'll be making little balls or chickies type. It's your wish whether you want to make a big one a small one. I have made into these shapes and sizes. It's your wish. What size you like. And yes, before making the balls, make sure your hands are oiled nicely so that it won't get stick. So, meantime, I have heated the karai with oil. So, we'll put the potato, corn, tikkis or cutlet or whatever name you would like to give. Now we'll put the ticket slowly. I have made eight balls out of those ingredients. If you like more, 
you'll just multiply those ingredients and you can make it into a large portion now it's almost done we'll take it out and we'll serve with our favorite sauce of chutney is ready to be tasted